Hi friends, I'm Pastor Diana. Welcome to A Daily Devotion. I'm so glad you've chosen to take a few moments to spend some time with God and reflect on Scripture with me. This week we are wrapping up uh, this week's ex exploration of being still and how st practices of stillness can help us know God more and how they give us life and how they're an important part of our life. Our scripture lesson today uh, comes from Mark 6. Uh, and these two little verses tell the story of a time when the disciples went and practiced stillness. So let's hear what they said, and then I'm gonna give you a little more context. So this is what Mark tells. Many people were coming and going, so there was no time to eat. He, Jesus, said to the apostles, come by yourselves to a secluded place and rest a while. They departed in a boat by themselves for a deserted place. So here we have this one little bit where Jesus tells his disciples, come and rest. And then they get in this boat and they go by them, go away by themselves. And this is really important for us because in this story, the disciples have spent time doing things. They've spent time away from each other. Jesus has actually commissioned them and sent them to go out and do things in his name to heal people, cast out demons, and uh, spread the good news. And so the disciples are all doing this. And then right before this, we hear the story of the execution of John the Baptist, this really traumatic experience. This is Jesus's cousin who's killed in a horrible way. And the disciples go and they are part of that mourning process and that funeral process. And then Jesus tells them, come together. You guys need to get together and you need to rest with each other. And I think that really applies to our lives. Over this pandemic season, we have been busy doing, 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 just making it through. But sometimes uh, we haven't been able to pause and to rest, especially rest together. And wherever COVID is at the moment, um, it is important that we find times to rest together. Maybe that's virtually, maybe that's in other ways. But finding times to be still and rest is one of the things that Jesus gave, a gift that he gave to his disciples, and he gives it to us too. So today, let's rest together. Let's be still. Know that as you are being still, that there are other people joining you in this stillness. And so may this time of stillness and rest be a time of healing and a time that is life-giving. So once again, settle yourself comfortably in your seat. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. And be still. Will you pray with me? Gracious and loving God, thank you for the gift of rest that you give. Help me to accept that gift, to accept the times of stillness so that I can follow you, so that I can know you more, so that you can bring me to good places, and most of all, so that I can be filled with your peace from the inside out. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Uh, I hope that it's been meaningful to you to take a few moments out of your day to be still. I know it's a practice that I find life-giving. And so continue to do it. Uh, there are some resources available uh, to help you uh, continue to go in deeper into this practice of stillness. And most of all, no matter what, no matter what know that God is present with you and loves you. And I do too. Have a blessed day.